Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to convert 2D images into 3D renders in Blender easily. Let's get started. First, we need an image file in PNG format. We can also use any image in JPEG format. I chose the PNG format because I want the image's background to be transparent. Search for Butterfly PNG on Google Images. I will share the download link in the video description. Download the image. All right. Next step, we need to convert the image into a vector graphic. There are many software and tools for this process. I would like to introduce you to a free web-based SVG converter. Let's go to the svgtrace.com website. I will share the link in the video description. This tool does not require any design experience and it's quite simple and easy to use. You can create vector graphics from existing images in seconds. Just click on the free converter button. Upload the butterfly image we have just downloaded. As you can see, the image consists of two main colors, blue and black. The default algorithm only predicts the first two colors. So, if your image has more than two colors, you will need to select them manually using the eyedropper tool. Then, click the Convert button at the bottom of the page. That's it. If you are not happy with the result, click the Undo button and try to adjust the parameters bottom right. If you increase the smoothness, the image will have smoother edges. If you have small color blobs on the final image, you can increase the Despeckle slider. You can increase the Simplify Curves slider to have more rounded and smoother curves. You can also turn on the AI to enhance your final image, but this feature only works with the Pro version of the tool. Click the Convert button again. Click the Export button and download the image in SVG format. If you want to access the powerful SVG editor, you can upgrade to the Pro version of the tool. The editor includes a variety of editing tools such as Pan, Fill Cut, Erase, Vacuum, Auto Fill, Color, Order, Copy, and Delete that can help you edit your SVG images with ease. All right. Now, we're going to import the image into Blender. Let's open a new Blender file. Hit the A key to select all default objects and delete them. Go to the File menu, Import, Scalable Vector Graphics, and import the SVG image we have just converted into. We cannot see anything because it's so tiny. When we zoom in on the cursor position, we can see it. Hit the A key to select all layers and the S key to scale up enough. As you can see, there are two layers, black and blue. We can select them separately. We can also hide and unhide these layers in the viewport from the Outliner Editor using the eye icons. These layers are curve type objects. A key to select all curves and hit the Tab key to switch to edit mode. So we can select any control point and edit it. Select these three control points and delete them. They are redundant and also distort the geometry. All right. Let's extrude the geometry and give some thickness. Click on the Object Data tab and open up the Geometry panel. Increase the extrude value. That's it. If you want to extrude the geometry more sensitively, hold down the Shift key while extruding. Tab back to Object Mode and select the blue layer. In the same way, extrude the layer higher than the previous one. We can also make the edges rounded. Select the black layer, go to the bevel section, hold down the shift key, and increase the depth value. That's it. It's so sensitive. So set the depth value to 0.0015. It looks more realistic now. In the same way, select the blue layer and set the depth value to 0.0005. A key to select all layers, hit the R key, then the X key, and rotate 90 degrees on the X axis. All right, it's time to add material and rendering. Press the Z key and switch to the Render Preview mode. Click on the Render Properties tab and ensure that Cycles is selected Render Engine. Set the maximum sample value to 32 for the viewport. 
Set the sample value to 128 for rendering. I'd like to use sky texture for lighting. Go to the World Properties tab, click on the color node, and choose the sky texture. Set the sun intensity value to 5 and the sun elevation value to 120. Set the sun rotation value to 45 degrees. Set the air value to 0.1, the dust value to 1, and the ozone value to 8. All right, let's add materials. Select the black layer and click the Material Properties tab. Click on the minus icon and delete the existing material. Click the new button to add new material. Switch the principled shader to the glossy shader. Select any color as you wish. Set the roughness value to 0.2, so the material becomes more reflective and shiny. Select the other layer and delete the existing material in the same way. Add new material and switch to the glass shader, so the material becomes a glass. Select any color. Press Shift-A and add a camera. Press Ctrl Alt Numpad 0 to align the camera to the view. Click the Output Properties tab and set the X and Y resolution values to 2160 pixels. Select the camera, hit the G key, and align the object in the camera perspective. Scroll down to the Output section and choose any destination you want to save your render. I would like to render it in PNG format, so I will leave the file format as it is. The color channel will be RGB Alpha, so I can render it as a transparent background if I like. Go to the Render menu and render the image. That's it. It looks amazing. If you want to get a render with a transparent background, go to the Render Properties tab, scroll down to the Film section, and enable the Transparent option. Let's render the image again. There we go. In order to save your image, go to the Image menu and save as the image. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.